Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today guys we are here inside our Roblox studio. In today's video I'll be showing you guys how you can go ahead and make a sprint script in your Roblox games over here. I'll actually be showing you guys two different types of sprint that you guys can add. One is by pressing the button, for example, shift to sprint. Another one is adding a button. For example, if you click on a button, it will toggle sprint on. So I'll be showing you guys both methods today. They are really, really easy, guys. You can actually make your um, your sprint script even better. I'll show you guys a little bit how you can do, do that later on if you guys want to make your game just have that extra really, really cool touch. Before I start anything off over here and show you guys exactly how you can do this, I first need to go in and tell you guys a little bit about the um, about rblxcodes.com, which is my own Roblox code website where you can find out game codes, music codes, and guides. There is tons of stuff in there that you guys have to check out. Overall, we give a code for over 300 Roblox games, so if you guys need a code for a game, it will be there. Anyway, guys, I guess let's just go ahead and go on into this video now. So guys, how exactly can you go ahead and make a sprint script? So guys, first of all, I'm going to be making a one that is shift to sprint. Um, so if we go ahead and, you know what guys, I think here it would be easy if you create a um, a local script and start a player script over here. So let's quickly make a local script and I'm going to quickly call this sprint script over here guys keep in mind all of these resources all these um scripts and all that sort of stuff are on my patreon that's linked down below in the pinned comment of today's video and also in the description however guys over here we are wanting to go ahead and get some variables right now um so variables over here and let's go ahead and type these out so local player um no local players equals game get service players there we go guys that's just getting the player's service on the right over here as you guys can see right now that's just gonna allow us to find the local player so local player equals players dot local player guys keep in mind if you are finding a bit of this and um, difficult i will be making a noob to pro um scripting series where after that you'll literally find all this so so easy and anyway, guys next we are actually going to want to go ahead and set out a value for the sprint and also walk speed so local sprint speed equals um i'm just gonna put 50 and then local walk and um, walk speed equals 16 guys so pretty much these are just some values that we can use to actually change the user's sprint speed um and walk speed if we ever want to so let's say if we actually want to make like a double sprint event or something i don't know something about but something like that guys we could just then simply just change the sprint speed from here to 50 to 100 instead of having to go through multiple different um amounts in the in the in this in the script itself to just change it to 50 guys so this just allows us to directly change the sprint script or sprint script the sprint speed or walk speed from here guys instead of having to change multiple values so you only need to change one anyway guys next we need to go ahead and get um this so it's going to be the code local user input equals game get service um user um input service guys okay so what this is doing it's an it's allowing us to actually check what um what button our player presses guys keep in mind because um right now this is going to be a shift to sprint script um people for mobile what i have done for my previous games guys i've added shift to sprint but i've also added um a sprint button itself for mobile players guys if you want to know how to do that you can kind of judge how to do that when I'll show you guys how to do the sprint button. But essentially over here, what we need to go in and do is just if user input dot keyboard enabled, then. So that's doing if the user of the game has a keyboard, then it's going to allow them to go ahead and do the shift to sprint. Okay, guys, so we're going to go in and do here local function begin sprint. Um, and then we're just going to go in and do input and game processed over here guys okay anyway now we've done that we're gonna go in and do if not game processed then if input dot um user input type um equals equals enum dot user input type dot keyboard then um, so essentially what we're doing here, we are just checking if the user's input type is a keyboard. If it is, then we're going to go ahead and do, um, 
local key code equals input dot key code um if i can type dot key code over here i'm gonna go and do if key code equals equals enum dot key code um dot left shift then so what we're doing here guys we're checking if the user has clicked the key if they have clicked uh, click the key we're gonna quickly check here if the the key that they have clicked is actually the left shift and if that happens then we are gonna go ahead and do um player dot character dot humanoid dot walk speed um equals sprint speed over there guys um and then that should be good you know guys let's test this out over here so this is our normal walk speed right now and then if we press shift nothing happens wait nothing happens right now one second guys um we will we'll, 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 we'll deal with that later um right never mind guys we actually need the end bit over here so we're gonna go ahead and do um local function end sprint so this is just gonna allow us to end the sprint over here once the user releases the shift key so input um and then game processed and then we're gonna go ahead and do if um not game processed then um and then we're just gonna do the same thing over here you know guys let's quickly let's copy this over here um yeah let's copy all this right all this right now guys we'll copy all that and paste that in there and then all we need to go in and do right now is just go in and set this instead of sprint speed to walk speed right now guys okay now we have that we're gonna go ahead and do um let's get rid of this we're gonna go ahead and do user input dot input began connect um begin script um sprint even though i don't know why i keep on saying script when it's sprint and then we're gonna go in and do user input dot input ended um connect and then we're gonna go and do go ahead and do end sprint there guys okay so now we have that right now what's gonna happen here and um, the reason why it didn't work is because i forgot to put these bits in so when the user actually inputs something it's then gonna go ahead and run this thing the begin script a sprint one and then once they actually release an input it's gonna run this one over here so this should be working right now guys let's test it out let's go ahead and do shift over here and there you go guys we absolutely do super speed over there guys every time i'm pressing shift i am going super speed which is awesome okay guys so we have that right now that is a shift to sprint one um also guys keep in mind i do actually have a game where i actually tweened it so i tweened the camera as well with it guys um if you want to know how to do that, I'll tell you guys all about tweeting later on in a future video. But yeah, guys, that is how you can go ahead and do shift to sprint. Um, and next, guys, if you, if you let's say, want to make a, a sprint button, just go and start a GUI. I'm just going to go ahead and create a screen GUI over here. And then in there, I'm just going to quickly do a text button right now, guys. Honestly, this is not going to be very pretty at all because it's just a rush, um, just a rush tutorial over here, guys. So let's quickly make no, I want the text color to be black and then let's quickly make this square guys I don't really want to I don't want to spend too much time on this guys just because I don't really need it at all but yeah guys there we go sprint over here so let's say you guys want a sprint button we got that right now let's create a local script inside of there and then we are going to go ahead and actually right okay we're going to quickly copy most of this over here because we're probably going to need most of it um and then I'm just going to quickly sort some that before so guys um, over here, we're going to go ahead and do local text button equals um, script.parent. And then instead, guys, of actually, right, instead of doing this, um, right, okay, wait one second, guys. So instead of doing this, we can just go ahead and do, uh, right, okay, actually, what we're going to go ahead and do inside the text button we're going to go ahead and actually have a bool value and then i'm going to go ahead and get the bool value so local bool value you, you know guys what's we'll local value local value equals text button dot value over there guys and um, that's just gonna allow us to see if the sprint is on or off of course you could do this a different way by changing the, the gui so it's a different color and all that sort of stuff guys but anyway so we got this over here we got the local player to be fair it's probably better if i just quickly do that right now there we go guys okay so we don't actually need the user input thing because 
in this they are not gonna be inputting anything um and to be honest we don't really need much of that all at all to be fair all we really need to do is have these right now so we're gonna go ahead and do um text button um and let me quickly get rid of all this guys to clear that up text button dot mouse button one up connect function um there we go right now guys okay so we've got that over there and now all we're gonna go ahead and do we're gonna go ahead and do if value equals equals true um true then we're gonna go ahead and set that to the walk speed um and then value equals e false after that guys we're gonna go ahead and do if um no else if value value equals equals false then we're gonna go ahead and allow them to sprint and then value equals true right now guys okay i'm gonna explain what this is done so whenever they actually click and release the mouse on the text button it's gonna check if this value over here is true or false we're gonna change it if it's true that means that they are currently sprinting if it's false then that means that they are walking and if it's true what it's gonna do it's gonna actually set their sprint speed to the walk speed to allow them to stop sprinting and then it's gonna actually turn the value to false because they've stopped sprinting now vice versa for this bit let's just check this bit right now guys let's see if this is working should be working just fine sprint apparently not one minute sorry guys i know what i've done over here and it's right okay so we're just gonna go ahead and do dot value over here guys because pretty much what we've done we've actually got the value over here but we haven't actually found the true or false value here guys so there's actually another you know what to be fair it's probably better if i call this um bool value just to go ahead and not confuse you guys um don't know what's happened there there we go guys bool value i'm just Instead of that, we're just going to go in and do there. Okay, guys, that should be good right now. Then that should work because before we weren't even checking it was on or off or whatever. So that wouldn't have worked. And there you go, guys. That is our sprint button working. Nice and simple. If you guys want to see more tutorials on how to make anything in Roblox games, I'll be covering whatever you want on this channel. Subscribe with the notification bell on. We got both the sprint and um, the shift and also the button one all working out guys which is awesome but yeah that's gonna be it for this video here i hope you all did enjoy this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe to show some support and peace out